The game of shooter dare always starts with six balls. The six ball is racked in front because this break isn't like an ordinary one that you're used to seeing. This is more like a shuffle, like playing cards. When you shuffle the cards and deal the hand, each hand is going to be different, just like each game in shooter dare is going to be unique and different. So the six balls in front, you can rack the other balls in any order you want because it's no advantage to pattern rack in this game. The breaking and the racking is no longer an advantage that can be used unfairly. So on the break, you have to get two balls past the side pocket. If you do that, it's a legal break. So now the game always starts with six balls. So if you make one on the break, it would spot. If you uh, make two balls, they'd spot on the head spot and the foot spot. Now, when you push out, uh, you can make a ball. So like, let's say I broke and the one ball was hanging in the pocket. I'd probably want to make that ball and, uh, and position my first dare on the two ball. So the push out is another thing that we call the dare because we're daring our opponent to shoot. So when I look at this, I'm going to figure out a place to roll out where I think I can make the shot and my opponent can't or sets up what we call a three-way shot. So I'm going to position the cue ball here on the rail. Now I have the option of shooting this or making my opponent shoot. So I would make my opponent shoot this one. But to make a legal shot, you must either make the ball or get it in the pocket zone, which is a diamond up from each pocket. So if I'm shooting at this pocket, it has to hit the rail between this diamond and the pocket or this diamond in the pocket. So I rolled out a little tough here, so we'll see what happens. All right. Made that first shot, conquered the dare. Pretty good position. So from this point, it's just a regular rotation game. This is the shuffle shot. You got two balls past the side. If you scratch on the shuffle, on the break, it spots here on the head spot. So, uh, and it would just be a regular push out from there. Okay, so now I've got to find a place where I think I can make the shot. My opponent can't or trick him into maybe shooting a shot that he shouldn't. So I'm going to position the ball here. Yep, I'm going to take this one. There we go. That's how you conquer the dare. From here, it's just a regular rotation game. Here's the shuffle. There, I got two balls past the side pocket. So now the person that racks has the option of either pushing out the dare or making me push out the dare. So uh, in this case, he's going to make me push out the dare because it's a little harder when the ball is more in the center of the table to, to roll out a good shot that you can make and your opponent can't. So I pushed out like a 50-50 type shot. 
Now, my opponent's going to take this shot. And it's still tricky because I've got to make this shot and get on this two. But what I'm going to do is use these balls as a blocker. So if I don't make the shot, I'm going to position the cue ball so that uh, my opponent won't have a shot. These are called three-way shots. When you're trying to make a difficult shot, play position on the next ball, and play safe at the same time. Nine ball has a lot of two-way shots, but the three-way shots are the most exciting and interesting part of the game. That's why so many people like to watch one pocket. That's uh, a big key in one pocket is the three-way shots. So you see, I missed the shot, but I used the five. I was trying to get the ball farther down here. So now my opponent has this shot. So I still didn't leave him an open one. So now he's got to push out a dare, or he can shoot from here, but there's really no shot here. So we're going to position this ball here. So now my opponent has the option of shooting this or passing it back to me. So uh, he's going to shoot this one. We're going to bank that ball and go down for shape on the two ball. There we go. Worked out well. From here, it's just a regular six ball game. The emphasis is always on the battle between the two players for that first shot. The great thing about shooter dare is both players get a chance to win every single game. Because if you push out and your opponent makes it and runs out, well, you could have pushed it out more difficult in a uh, more challenging place. And if you miss or your opponent misses and you win, you'll still have an influence on the game. So both players have a chance to win every single game. And here's the shuffle. Two balls pass the side, so it's a legal break. I have the, my opponent has the option to either push out the dare or make me do it. So in this case, he's going to make me push out the dare. So I'm going to position this shot where it's difficult to not only make the one, but get shape on the two. So this shot right here, my opponent's going to take it. And no good. So now it's Carson's shot. So now the game is played just a regular six ball game. Six balls always racked in front, playing shooter dare. Don't need a break stick. Just get two balls past the side. And every game will be different. All right. So the person that racks gets the option of either pushing out the dare or making me push out the dare. He's going to make me push it out. On the push outs, I'm just trying to, to put a shot where it's probably about a 50-50 type shot, but there's always a defensive component. And, uh, of course, you got to play shape on the next ball. So this ball right here, I would take this shot.
on a scratch, it's ball in hand behind the line. And you have the option of getting a spot shot with the ball behind the line. So in this position, uh, since that three is there, it's a tough situation. So I also have the option of passing it back to my opponent, which I'll do. So I'm going to pass it back to my opponent. Now they get to shoot this shot. So I'm going to bank it cross corner and play it safe if I miss. All right. Another thing about Shooter Dare, which is uh, an extra benefit, is you get two quality games for the price of one because you can use these six balls. And then if you're on a coin operated table, after these are completed, you can use the other balls. So not only is Shooter Dare a high quality game, but it's half price. This one got kind of difficult. When the balls are close like that, the dare is going to be a little bit more challenging. So, I'm going to roll out here. My opponent makes me shoot again. Oh, it didn't go into the pocket zone. So I'm going to take a spot shot with ball in hand behind the line. Remember, on a foul, you can shoot the balls from where they lie, or you get a spot shot with ball in hand behind this head string. So you got to be good at spot shots. It used to be a really big part of the game, and we're bringing it back, playing shooter there. <laughs> 